Grace and peace to you all, my beloved. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My beloved, today is the fourth day of the seventh month of the year 2020. And you know what day this is. This is July 4th, the Independence Day of America. And you know, to the temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit about 32.2 degrees Celsius. Very hot, sunny day. And on most of the time, on Saturdays, like on holidays like July 4th, I will walk all the way to Liberty, which is about, uh, maybe about 14 miles to 15 miles from here, Greensboro, okay? But today I, I decided not to because I have, I have a meeting that I have to attend to. I should have started early, but I didn't start very early. So I will, you know, cut that a little short. But having said that, I want to wish the whole of America a very blessed Independence Day. My prayer is that our independence will be couched in Christ, that we shall be independent, free from sin, free from anything that is of the enemy, free from division, free from hatred, free from malice, free from all things that are associated with darkness. That's my prayer for this nation, that we shall be truly independent, but not independent of God, that we shall be independent, separate from sin, separate from Satan, separate from darkness, and be dependent on Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That is my prayer. My beloved, the, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. Okay? That's my prayer for the nation of America. That our independence will be couched in Jesus Christ and Him crucified. That the nation will rise out of darkness into the light of Christ. That there will be nothing. There will be no darkness in us. You know, hatred, rancor, malice, uh, discord and all these things are all works of darkness and if we as an independent country that professes to know Christ have all these things going in us then we are still in darkness that is why I'm wishing and praying that America on this Independence Day will surrender our all to Jesus Christ that will call upon him that he will set us free from any strongholds of darkness. Satan is the father of darkness. Now when we talk about darkness, I'm not talking about the darkness that you see, that you go to sleep at night, that darkness. I'm talking about darkness of sin. Satan is the, the prince of sin, the prince of darkness, the darkness of sin. And the things that we have talked about, uh, you know, hatred, rancor, division, uh, murder, and uh, malice, lies, deceit, all these things, and uh, those perjured lifestyle, abominable lifestyles, you know, that we claim to be born with, which is not. All those things are things of darkness, okay? And I pray that this nation will be a nation that is rid of all this darkness, that we shall walk in the light of Christ, in holiness, in righteousness, in the fear of God, the true fear of God, in the true fear of God. And I can't emphasize that enough, the true fear of God, because the fear of God is the beginning of knowledge and the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of God is to depart from sin, to depart from anything that has anything to do with darkness. The fear of God causes us to depart from all that. And my prayer for this nation is that we'll, de we'll rid ourselves of all these sins, all this darkness, so we shall be a true light, we'll be in a true light the light of Jesus Christ, that will be a light, a true light. Okay, a true light. 
that does not manifest darkness, but manifest light in all its form. God bless you. A very blessed Independence Day to all of you. From Pastor Pimpon on this my early morning, but it looks like afternoon because it's very hot, 90 degrees. 90 degrees hot. And I'm going to limit it myself today to 10 miles, just 10 miles of walking instead of the 32 miles that I make on Independence Day, that is July 4th. Okay? Listen, so I'm not walking to Liberty. The reason I walk to Liberty because Liberty is, you know, Independence Day is Liberty, you know, being independent from England, you know. So I walk there, but today I will walk within the city of Greensboro, at least 10 miles, okay? I've already covered six miles, so I have four miles. No, five miles, so I have five more miles to go. Okay, listen, God bless you. Remember, the Lord God loves you. That is why he came into this world in the person of his son, Jesus Christ, died at Calvary for you, and I shed his blood, that by his blood you and I will be free from the power of sin, that we will be ushered into the power of light, Jesus Christ being the light. And he wants you and I to be the light of the of the world we as individuals and all of us together as a people we should be the light of this world and the salt of the earth okay light and salt talking about righteousness and holiness god wants us to be those kind of persons listen may the lord god bless you and prosper you in all you do as you purpose to walk in his way, making him the Lord of your life. God bless you from me, Pastor Pimpon, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let's go and let our lives shine and let us be sought on the earth. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.